Welcome to iThemes. I'm Rebecca Diamond, and today I'm going to show you how to use the LastPass Password Manager in order to simplify sharing, creating, and using passwords on all the many sites you may visit. Because so many sites require passwords these days, it's really tempting to just remember one password, use it on all of your sites, and not have to stop and think about it when you need to log in somewhere. This is a really bad idea, though, when it comes to security, because if that one password is compromised, all of your other sites that use the same password are left vulnerable. That's where a password manager comes in. There are several available options. I personally prefer LastPass, so that's the one I'm going to show you today. To get started with LastPass, go to lastpass.com and click on Get LastPass Free. Creating an account is simple. Just enter your email and a master password. One good tip is to use a sentence as a password, using a passphrase rather than a single word, and make it something that you can easily remember using proper punctuation and capitalization. You'll need to confirm that master password, and I do recommend setting up a reminder and then go ahead and click Sign Up, it's free. You'll be asked to verify your email, and once that email has been verified, just click Continue. You have the option to install a browser extension. You can see I already have it installed in my browser. And then we're going to log in. Once logged in, you'll be sent to an introductory page from LastPass, and it will walk you through some basic steps on some common sites to save your password. Your LastPass Vault is the place where you can securely store your passwords, even bank accounts, addresses, secure notes, and more. One nice feature is the emergency access so that in case of an emergency, a business partner or other trusted family or friend can have emergency access to your site. When you come to a site with a login field, you'll now see the LastPass icon, and that's where any saved passwords for the site can be selected. Each time you log into a site, LastPass will ask you if you wish to save that password. When you go back to your vault, you'll then see the site that you have saved. You'll have the option to edit it, to delete it, or to share it with friends. And this is where that share feature of a password manager comes in really handy. Let's say that I need to send my access to this site to someone, but I don't really want to have to go change that password after I've shared it. So I can securely share the password with them, without allowing them to view the password. That means that when they use LastPass, they will be able to accept my shared password, be able to use it on the site it's assigned to, and yet not be able to view or change that password in any way. When someone sends you an item, you'll see a notification pop up in your sharing center and you just simply click to accept those offers. If you try to edit a password that hasn't been shared with you to view, you'll simply see a notification that you're not permitted to view the password. As you can see, there's lots of different options in using this password manager. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction, and I do hope that you'll consider giving LastPass a try. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for other great WordPress tips, tutorials, and information, and also visit iThemes.com to review our backup and security plugins and for all your hosting needs. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.